continues at this hour for a missing elderly couple. 86-year-old Marion Gleason and her husband, 85-year-old Robert, were last seen on Tuesday morning. Their son says they did make a credit card transaction at a speedway in Sharonville that day. Family and friends of the couple are gathering in Witten Woods at this hour. Local 12's Larry Davis joins us live with more. Larry. Hi, Paula. We're just behind me. Friends, family, and parishioners of the Northern Hills Christian Church are gathering for a prayer service here at the amphitheater in Winton Woods Park. They are praying for the safety of Marion and Robert Gleason, the elderly couple that's been missing since this past Tuesday. Right now, the family says they are at a loss for where they may be. <laughs> yes, Mar way over. I don't know. Marion and Robert Gleason lived here at this home in Westchester. Family members say it is totally out of character for the couple to be gone this long and not make someone aware of where they are. The Gleasons went to a doctor's appointment on Tuesday morning. From there, uh, the video uh, there was video and record of them buying gas at a speedway station on US 42 at I-275 in Sharonville. From there, it's anybody's guess. Westchester police have been looking for any leads that may lead them to the Gleasons. Police officers are they're in contact pretty frequently. They were here again this morning. Um, the detective was here and he went through mom and dad's records, um, the calendar, the, their dress book, you know, their notes that they left on the countertop. The Gleasons were driving a red 1997 GMC Sierra, Ohio plate BD30HS. And if you see that vehicle, you're asked to call police. Now, Paul, coming up to the news at 5 o'clock, a well-known, uh, nationally known uh, search team is about to begin looking for the couple, and we'll have more on that coming up in the news at 5 o'clock. Live in Winton Woods Park, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Paula, back to you. Larry, let me ask you, you might not know the answer to this, but do they have a history of wandering off, or maybe, you know, that they could have just gone on vacation, not told family? Not at all. They, the family says it is totally out of character that they would do something like this. Uh, they don't even stop at a fast food restaurant to get something to eat. I asked that question yesterday and they said that they come home and eat. They're very regimented, um, but they, they are not known to wander off or tell anybody that they're going away for three or four days and not tell anyone. So this is totally out of character and uh, obviously uh, everybody's very concerned now that we're like three or four days out. All right. Thank you, Larry. Another